Okay, sorry about that. So actually, uh, remove that little bit of line so that your code matches mine again. We need to do individual checks for this. We can't do it the way I was trying to do it. So we're gonna go um, if key w is equal to one. So if we're pushing key w, then player speed x plus equals one times time step. Now I think actually if we set this to two, we might have better luck. And if we set this to S, um, naturally, we'd want that to decrease. Now, because we're increasing and decreasing these numbers, they won't stop at the values they should be at. Okay, so what we need to do now, uh, we set these to zero so that when we start off the engine, we're not moving, or so that it knows that that's it's, it's zero. Um, and then when we start the push W, it's going to start incrementing the player's speed by two until it reaches a certain point. Now to do that, we need to say that player speed x equals clamp player speed x minimum and maximum. Remember we did that up here for the camera. So minimum would be negative 15 and maximum is 15. So we can set that for both. This way when we start moving around there will be a limit to how fast our player can move and he won't start taking off like a track runner. Let me set all of these to Y. Now the problem with this right now is that there's nothing to tell it to stop and reset it to zero. Right, and even two is too much of a slow number. So you can see if I stop, he's just going to start walking at that speed again. So, first of all, let's say uh, var player um, speed x max equals 15. And the x as well copy that, place these in here, leave the negative so that it knows that we're referring to a negative value of this variable. Make sure you set the y down here, and now it knows that <clears throat> we're referring to 15. Now this was too slow, so let's go ahead and add var player speed increment equals 5. Now I think 5 might be more of a sufficient number. It might be a little bit uh, realistic. Whoops. Whoa. What's going on here? Oh, right. And because I still haven't reset the numbers, I'm, I'm getting some strange results. So, um, we're going to say if key w, okay, if key w equals 1, then over here, actually, since we're already saying if player is pushing the w key, that um, player okay so we're actually gonna have to create um, negative values for this negative player speed and that means that negative player speed equals zero so you can't move backwards while you're moving forwards that just doesn't make any sense. And 
if you're moving backwards, then set the player speed to zero. And what that will do, of course, oops, because we have to define these as well. So let's create our negative value variables. Whoops. 15 and also we need to put the positive values back here or their actual values reset the values is a better way to say it Now the reason why it's not uh, going backwards, you'll notice, is because we now need to set these um, right here to their own individual tasks. So now we're going to say we're going to copy, or we're going to cut that. Okay, well, I copied it and I accidentally pasted it there twice. But anyway, so the first thing right here, player.speed x times time step because we're pushing the key space. And now below it, oops, sorry, don't copy all of that. Equals negative player speed. I believe. Okay. What? Okay. Simple as this. I forgot to change these values to Y. No. What do you mean, no? Okay, and it generally helps to change them all appropriately. Okay, so now we can go forwards and backwards. Okay, so now let's do that really quick for the other movements. Actually, just use this one. Oh, I just realized something that this is still X. Okay, the reason why it's doing that is right there. That's our that's our problem. So I fixed these. I put these back to X. I'm sorry. These are the problem, or not the problem, the problem was here. So now if we run it, okay, we can now move around with a proper value set because <clears throat> setting those to Y would have made that uh, working on the um, strafe access. So that didn't make any sense. I'm sorry. Um, it's getting late. <clears throat> but now we have nothing to tell it to stop moving. <clears throat> so if key s equals zero and key w equals zero my dot skill one equals zero that's simple now the player will not continue to move when you tell him to stop okay so in the next tutorial uh, we are going to continue with this uh, creating the player movement and we will set up the strafe and some further actions such as jumping.